Charterman, 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 Oh well, I'm happy that we get the arm hair. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the 2019 X-Men Wendigo Build-A-Figure Waves Nightcrawler. If you pick up the set, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh man, a new Nightcrawler figure. Yeah, we've been wanting one from Hasbro for quite some time. I'm so stoked that this one's going to have a bendy tail. Ooh, I cannot wait to open this thing. Uh, the Nightcrawler hand fell out of the port where it's supposed to go to. It's been rattling in there. Anyway, on the side right over here, you can see Nightcrawler. And then on the back, you can see Nightcrawler again with the BAMF. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. Then you get Nightcrawler again over here. Then you get Spot Varnished X logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Nightcrawler out of the packaging. And wow, what a great upgrade. But at the same time, there are some letdowns going on, especially with the tail. Just getting it out of the way right now. We don't have a bendy tail over here, so that's a little frustrating. I'm going to try to get over that as soon as possible. I don't want to repeat myself on that thing. But we do get some other cool stuff going on, such as accessories. So let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the Nightcrawler. So the figure comes with two interchangeable right hands, three different head sculpts, and a swashbuckling sword. Oh my goodness, I have not had a Nightcrawler figure with the swashbuckling sword. Um, actually, starting me is the X-Men Classics Toy Biz Ultimate Nightcrawler has plenty of swords. Learn your Marvel Legends already! Anyway, we get some nice gold sculpted very well. We saw this with Citizen V already. And then you get this nice silver paint right over it right here, and it looks great. I really like it. I like the shape of this sword and everything. It's not sharp or anything on the edge, and it's not too pointy, so that's great. And it's meant to fit into this smaller hand right here. You can see that it's meant for swashbuckling so you go ahead and go ahead and yeah, there you go I'm going that way and be careful and do it uh, be gentle there you go and kind of chewed up a little bit of the plastic only a little bit but still looks really good and then you get the wide open hand right over here which looks great as well so yeah you definitely want to have that nice knuckles sculpted right there and the palm looks good and everything then we get these three heads I'll say this neutral head sculpt is my least favorite but I really like all three of them the blue just came out fantastic for this I love how we have some dark blue right underneath the eyes or black anyway it could just be black underneath the eyes the yellow looks really good I like how the eyebrows are sculpted the hair is awesome the ears look great I love how we have that blue over the black for the hair so as far as each of these three head sculpts I really can't complain much at all I really do like all of them uh, here's a grinning Kurt Wagner right there looking fantastic and again I like the black paint around the eyes the hair looks great Love that grin. You can see his fangs are painted even, so that's awesome. Love that. And then we also get the very dark looking Nightcrawler, Angry Nightcrawler, and he's drawn like this a lot of the time with the shadow over the top of his head. A little bit of glue coming out right here from the top, you know, from the scalp, and this could have been centered a little bit better, but I think this is just a QC issue. I've actually seen a couple of these, and then you can see the ears again are sculpted really well. And just like the other two, we get really good looking hair on this figure. And all three of the heads look really good on the body over here too, and I really like that we get this newly sculpted upper torso. This looks great. You can see how the vest is actually uh, layered on top right here or there's actually a groove sculpted into this hard plastic and you get a softer plastic right here for the vest or is this technically a vest I don't know it looks like a vest up here anyway unfortunately the, I don't think they applied enough glue on this left side of him you know you can see how you, this flap is coming up so I don't know I wish that was smushed down a little bit more I actually do have a second copy of this guy and it's not sticking up as far on that one so yeah uh, I just wanted to have a second one okay I love Nightcrawler but uh, yeah looking at the shoulder pads right here you can see this is made out of a fairly soft material arms look great love the paint apps right over here as well the red and white looks very clean throughout on this side let's check let's be thorough I don't want to eat my words yeah well you can see a little bit of black coming through but for the most part that does look very clean so I'm happy about that and then looking at the lower torso right there looking pretty good and then here's looking on the back of the figure and you can see we get the tail right here, which, you know, if they're going to have it in a stagnant pose, this is definitely the stagnant pose to get him in, and I like how the tail is sculpted and everything, too. So that looks perfect as far as aesthetics goes. It's made out of a fairly soft material. Really wish they had a bendy wire in there, though. I'm not going to lie, that does frustrate me, you know. Wish I could get, the, like, the tail curling around the sword right here. That would have been great. I guess you could still make that work if you want to, but eh, it's not the same. It's not the same. Legs look pretty good. I believe these are Spider-Man legs as well as spider 
Spider-Man biceps right over here. I could be wrong about that. Or Pizza Spider-Man more specifically, but yeah, looking at the knees and calves. Red paint, you know, you can see some of the black coming through, but for the most part, I think it looks all right. And the white looks really good right over here, except for this piece. Oh, that's a little irritating. It's not like that on the other Nightcrawler figure. And the feet look great. You get the two toes right over there. You can see you get some nice wrinkles. All tricky to see. You can see the wrinkles right over here. So I like that. And yeah, there's the heel toes right there. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Yeah, man, the figure looks great. And we also get great articulation on this guy. You can move the heads all the way up, which is awesome. And he'll look all the way down. You get side to side motion. It shifts forward and back a little bit. A little bit of head tilting. Just only only a very tiny bit though. We do get butterfly joints right here, so you can see the shoulder shifting forward and back. You get the shoulder to lift upward that far, which is really good, and it'll move down that much. If you want the hands over the head, uh, you can get them moving that far inward with the hand raised above the head, so that's not too bad. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, both wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down that have the wide open gesture, uh, but this second right hand for swashbuckling is actually a horizontal movement or roll of the dice motion. Uh, you get an ab crunch forward that far which is really good and he crunches back that much you get a waist swivel hips move outward very far which is great for nightcrawler and he'll kick all the way up uh, you know straight forward he'll kick up only that far but if you want him you know kicking further back he'll go all the way like that so that's great and he'll go back all the way you could actually do a full 360 right here see all right that's pretty awesome uh, you get an upper thigh swivel right there double jointed knees and we did. do we get the X-Man 87 to heal the butt and yeah there you go we got the x Man 87 heel to butt right there. And then you can see that the ankles do move down very far. They move up quite a bit and he does have beautiful ankle pivot. And tail rotation. I almost forgot the tail articulation which is just, you know, you could rotate it around like that. That's it. I wish there was at least a hinge right over here at the end. That would have been great, but man. Uh. And to measure out the amazing Nightcrawler, you can see that he is standing just barely under six and a half inches tall. And then for your Marvel Legends Nightcrawler figure comparison, we have our Hasbro version and the Toy Biz Classic version right there. And man, I really Really like both of these figures a lot. It's very hard for me to say which one's better out of the two. I love having the bendy tail. I also love having the toe articulation right here and individual toe articulation with double joints and a heel joint right there. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do like about this one, but this one right here, man, it's a great update. So it's hard for me to say at this very moment which one I prefer out of the two of them. I do think they're both great Nightcrawler figures. And then for another Nightcrawler comparison, we have our new Marvel Legends Nightcrawler next to the Marvel Select Nightcrawler crawler which does have a bendy tail and a lot of cool paint shading but yeah I do like the head sculpts from this one a lot more than the head sculpt on that one for sure and the articulation is obviously a lot better than this one but this one comes with the Banff effect I wish this one did have one that would have been cool if you have the SH figure art Star Lord I did use the effect parts from that you know I had some fun with that and then here's Nightcrawler next to a couple notable X-Men characters we have Cyclops from the Phoenix 2 pack the classic look and then we have our recently released 80 years Colossus and I really like the 70s X-Men team that had Colossus Cyclops Wolverine Wolverine, Storm, and Banshee. Uh, we do need a new Banshee figure and definitely want to Storm in that classic uniform. And then here's Nightcrawler next to the NECA Toys Preacher figure. Someone had recommended that I try to do a head swap with these figures and I cannot get the head off the Preacher right over there and I don't think these scale well enough for a head swap to work, but yeah, it would be cool to have a Nightcrawler with the collar. And then here's Nightcrawler next to his best pal. We have Wolverine and I love seeing these two side by side like this with their updated versions. These look great. And then here's Nightcrawler next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big time let down Spider Man. Hey, father. Hey, can I get a ride? You know, I always thought it'd be cool to teleport with you, and I've never really done that before, so. Woohoo! Whoa! Oh! I thought you were gonna ban from me back. Oh, oh okay. Oh! Oh, two times? Come on. Can we do it again without the. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, come on, man. Can we do this without the. Whoa! So I really like this Nightcrawler figure a lot, and I still can't really pinpoint exactly which I think is the better figure, the Toy Biz version or this version, but I really like this version a lot, man. And I'm definitely gonna give it a shot having it on my display shelf. So yeah, this will take the place of the Toy Biz Nightcrawler for right now. We'll see how it goes. I really do like the articulation, even though he doesn't have toe joints and a bendy tail, but I really like how the figure looks. He's very durable, and the flexibility of this figure is a bit better than the Toy Biz version. So there 
are definitely really good things about it, man. Nightcrawler, uh, definitely one of my all-time favorite X-Men figures. Wolverine and Nightcrawler are my two favorites, so I'm very, very excited about this figure. Couldn't just get one of them, so at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm giving this a sud rating of two, two, please. I love it. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. If you're interested in the giveaways, I have three Marvel Legends giveaways up right now. And if you're interested in the daily post, please check it out. Link in the description below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Probably 80 years Iron Man tomorrow. Stay tuned. Peace. Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.